Report shows that Nigeria's tech ecosystem has emerged a leading player in the global, in global technology. This development has continued to attract attention from investors, policymakers, and tech enthusiasts worldwide. This and many more form part of discussions at the Technology and Media Telecommunications Business Law Breakfast, which held in Lagos. During the event, stakeholders took turn to assess the current state of Nigeria's tech ecosystem and deliberate on pertinent policies, reforms, and global trade dynamics that can help the sector perform better and contribute to economic growth and development. Founders seeking funding need to start with themselves. I mean, it all starts with you asking, because investors back people and back people first. So the key thing is what risk have you taken on yourself before you say any investor should invest in you or take a risk on you, because that's what investing is all about. So that risk could be investing in your skill set, investing in your time, what sacrifice have you made? Sometimes people are just outright not truthful. But some of the times, as a fear of backlash, they run to uh, reasons that are more conventional and uh, more palatable for startups, right? Um, especially because no one really likes criticisms. And so sometimes investors seem to sugarcoat their reasons. Or if you dig deeper, you're a critical thinker, you, you're a good listener, you would see somewhere in between the sandwich of the reasons, the main reason why an investor is saying no to you, and you can improve from there. The most important thing from my own experience has been really the person that you're investing in and the relationship that you're able to form for a long-term partnership. Ensuring that they, are, they have goods and services that are able to be exportable, uh, being, making sure that they're scalable across borders. These are very, very important factors when deploying capital and investing in tech businesses.